Hey guys, it's Mackenzie. Welcome back to my channel. So today we have a very exciting video. This is one of my favorite types of videos to film. It is a mystery box unboxing. So I uploaded a video a couple weeks ago now showing a lot of items that I ordered from ThreadUp's online outlet. And I had a code down below if you wanted to make your first purchase. I think ThreadUp gave you like 45% off. Anyway, several people ended up using that code. And so I got quite a bit of credits, which I was so excited about. And I was able to order two mystery shoe boxes. They each have 15 pairs of shoes, so 30 pairs in total. We have two boxes here. And so if I had paid for everything out of my own pocket, I would have spent $193 with two cents. That's with all shipping and all taxes included. That would have been $6.43 per pair of shoes, but because of the credits, I ended up only spending $28.02 in total for all 30 pairs, which is less than a dollar per pair. So thank you so much if you use my code. I hope you are enjoying your orders and are enjoying the ThreadUp website. I personally like ThreadUp. You do have to be careful. I personally would not spend $193 on these two boxes myself just because it is such a gamble and I think there is a better use of your time as a reseller but they are really fun to unbox and to just kind of see what you get. I love sharing it with you guys and hopefully there there are some good pairs in here. I have not peeked at all which is very rare for unboxings. I usually know what's inside because I absolutely cannot wait. I have no patience, but I promised myself I would wait until I was filming because I think that is more fun to find out together. So I have ordered a lot of these mystery shoe boxes in the past and I have always made a profit on them. Not like a huge profit, but enough to make it worth it, but also not enough to, you know, like rely on this as my income or anything like that. Okay, so starting off, I am seeing some Michael by Michael Kors platform sandals, and they definitely do have some like dirt to them, surface dirt. And this is like a rough suede. Maybe it was like a smooth suede at one point, but it's it almost feels like sandpaper. So I'm not sure how I would even go about cleaning that. I don't think Michael Michael Kors is like high enough of a brand or sought after enough on the secondhand market for me to really dedicate the time to clean these up. Maybe I'll check comps on them. I'm also not seeing, okay, yeah, here. Size eight and a half leather upper rubber outsole. They are cute for spring and summer though. And I mean, the leather is really in pretty good condition. It just needs a quick wipe down. Really the only flaw is the suede. The sole here is still going pretty strong. So we'll see on those. I might give them like a quick wipe down and see how much they clean up and um, just kind of go from there. Okay, next we have Cloud Foam Comfort. I'm not sure where this brand is sold. Oh, Adidas. Okay, so these are Adidas. And then they're just like the Cloud Foam Comfort line from Adidas, I guess. These are cute and they, okay, that's weird. One shoe, oh wait, are these? Are there two pairs of these? Because these appear to be both the right foot. So that's a bummer. I'm guessing they had two pairs of these and they just paired them up incorrectly because one of them <laughs> has clearly been worn and one has not. So yeah, that's a little bit of a bummer. Maybe I'll write into them and just say, am I losing my mind there? Or is that both the right foot? It definitely is. So yeah, I don't know. I might email them about that because obviously those are not wearable and that has nothing to do with their condition, really. Okay, next we have a pair of Vionic heeled shoes, which I do like the brand Vionic. These look pretty small, and they do also have some wear. They're a suede upper. They're size six, 
or does that say five? It might say five. Five or six. I think six. Um, yeah, there is some wear to the suede. And then they have this tortoiseshell small block heel and back, which I think is really cute. So yeah, I am seeing some like scratching to the sides. These soles are in okay condition. I always tell you guys that this is where I look first to determine wear on shoes to see how much of the sole has been taken out because that kind of tells you exactly how much they have been walked on. So yeah, I don't know about those. They're cute, but again, we'll just have to see. These are high top Vans, which Vans is a very popular brand. I think a lot of people turn to the secondhand market to purchase it. They're just a classic gray color. These are unisex, so men's six and a half, women's size eight, which is my size, but I don't think I would really wear a high top sneaker, but those are cute. Um, I will probably go ahead and list those maybe for, maybe for like 25. Now we have Esprit. These are, I like these. Hopefully they are, yeah, they're a left and a right, which is excellent. And they have this camo canvas strap with Velcro closures, platform, rubber with the cork midsole. Decent condition for sure. And the seasonality is excellent on these. I'm not seeing a size. Sometimes they will put shoes in this box specifically because they are missing a size and you know they don't wanna take the time to try to figure it out or anything like that. I might be able to find one on these, but it's not looking like it. So yeah, I will spend some time looking at a later point, but. Those are very cute. I can also try them on and uh, kind of go from there. Okay, now we have some flats and they are by Express. So faux suede upper. I will not be listing these at best. I will take them to Plato's Closet, but probably not because these are kind of a dated style with this strappy ankle detail and they do have wear, size nine like a maroon flat. So I might put those in my garage sale box. Okay, these are cute. I do like these. These are Madewell sneakers. And I think I've sold a couple pair of sneakers by Madewell in the past and they have done well. These probably retailed, I would guess for like 70 to 100-ish. So they definitely have some room for a good profit. Uppers, coated leather, and textile. Sole is synthetic. What size are they? Did I say what size? They are, do these also not have a size? That's so strange. It seems like it would be with all the other information, but it's not. It probably had a sticker on the bottom sole. So yeah, that's definitely why these are in the box because they don't have a size readily available to see. Maybe sometimes if you take out the entire insole, you can find it. Oh yeah. Okay, there we go. So it's written in raised letters here. Spring of 2021. It looks like they are an 8.5. So yeah, if you can't find a size, pro tip, just Pull out the insole. The suede does need just a tiny bit of cleanup, but that is not a problem. I'm thinking those might go for, just off the top of my head, I would think 35 to 40, so I'm happy with that. These are Tom's colorful textile upper with the ankle strap, wedge, a platform wedge with this like woven jute design. These are cute. They definitely don't have too much wear, size six. So yeah, I will most likely list these again because we are in spring going into summer. And I think those will be an easy like 25-ish. Tom's shoes have always sold pretty well for me. Same with this brand, Sam Edelman. This has always been a solid shoe seller for me, especially if it is genuine materials. And this does look like real suede. Yes, leather upper, size seven and a half really pretty blush pink heel here with 
minimal signs of wear. Again, I look right at that sole there. And so yeah, I'm definitely happy with these. I will probably have to take my suede eraser to them and do some minimal cleanup, but the toes look great, which is a huge plus. So I'm thinking maybe 30-ish for those. Now I'm seeing some Banana Republic patent leather heels, a closet staple, upper leather, and they are, I'm not sure, what, oh, size nine. Okay, so genuine leather upper with a patent finish. And again on this heel, that's going strong it looks like. So yeah, I will give these a quick, quick wipe down and get them listed. This is an excellent like office, everyday office shoe. So I'll add in office, workwear, career, minimalist, contemporary, capsule wardrobe, and I think those will sell no problem, probably like 28 to 32-ish. More suede, and these are more Banana Republic. These are cute, these heeled sandals with a fringe upper. Excellent condition. I don't know if these were ever worn, maybe once. Super cute, I love the color, very flirty. Size six, so some smaller sizes. Oh, you know what? This does have cracking to the lining. I, it's so unfortunate when brands use like genuine materials on the outside, but the lining is all faux because it is susceptible to cracking. So yeah, I will probably just redonate those. Because of that, no one likes for that to just kind of peel off on their foot as they're wearing it. Okay, I'm seeing a pair of boots and they don't feel amazing. I don't think, yeah. It's like pretty cheap. American Eagle Outfitters, so American Eagle Outfitters. I know there was a line at Payless that was like American Eagle, but I think these might be just like the American Eagle brand. I'm not sure, but either way, they are a faux suede. They are in good condition, not great condition, not unworn. But I, you know, I think I will put these in my Plato's closet box to take going into fall and winter time of this year. And they'll, they'll most likely take those. So I'll probably make back about $4 on those. Now we have G by Guess quilted sneakers. Uh, right off the bat, I am seeing some flaws and these just really don't go with the style of my closet. So I will not be listing these just due to that as well as the wear. And so yeah, these will just be redonated. They are the backer sneakers in a size eight and a half. And our last two pairs of shoes in our first box, hopefully the second box is a little bit better. These are Steve Madden. I actually think I have these exact shoes listed. They are a clear strap with silver pyramid studs kind of like a faux Valentino look with the rock studs. Um, they do twist around the ankle and then strap or clasp, buckle. Uh, size seven, and these are the travel sandals, all man-made materials. So, I mean, they're in decent condition. I will go ahead and list these again because of the season, but I won't expect more than, I would say like 20, maybe 25 tops on those because they are faux leather. And lastly for this box is a pair of Anne Klein heels. I hate that they put the rubber bands on the shoes because they kind of leave some indentions. These do feel like genuine suede. They're incline flex, so I think that's like a comfort kind of thing. They are the Tanya heels, leather upper, man-made lining, eight and a half. So yeah, I might list these at like 25 and use the same keywords that I mentioned on those Banana Republic patent heels. 
they have a pretty gold wrapped heel so it's kind of a nice touch okay so that's it for our first box what did we think i'm i'm not super impressed let's just say i'm glad i had the credits because i would probably be pretty disappointed if i spent i think it's like 96 for each box so if i spent 96 on those pairs of shoes i would probably be pretty unhappy i'll probably make i would probably make my money back but you know that's not the goal because you have to invest all the time into cleaning the shoes and photographing them and listing them and shipping them so you know you want to make a solid profit not just make your money back okay this box already looks semi-promising these are cool this looks like a collab with New Balance. I am very unfamiliar with anything sneaker related, so please don't judge me for that. Um, Amy Leon Dor. I'm sorry if I'm butchering that so much, but these look very cool. I will for sure be looking these up and checking comps. What size are these? These are a women's size six. Do they have a year? on them they seem a little bit newer 2022 okay so yeah that's great the wear is pretty minimal i'm not really seeing anything that wouldn't come off with just a quick wipe down so i am very excited for those okay next i am seeing a pair of matisse sandals and again we have the cracking issue to the lining which is a bummer because i do like selling this brand matisse so if you can see like down in there, well, maybe that's a glue issue. I don't know. Either way, the lining has some flaws going on. And are these, they're size seven. I do, this brand Matisse is sometimes sold through Free People. Yeah, leather upper. And I like this baby blue color, but we'll have to see on these what's up with that lining. I'm not going to hold my breath on those. Andrew Guillero. Never heard of this brand. The rubber bands, again, just kind of like misshapes the shoe. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm seeing, again, some more issues with the lining in there, which is such a bummer. Size 9, Tibby Heels, Textile, and Man-Made Upper. So this is like a woven design at the toe area and then you have like the crossover strap and the heel i don't think i will be listing these based on condition they are cute but the quality doesn't seem super high and i like to spend time on stuff that i'm excited to list high quality in demand brand styles that kind of thing speaking of we have Bowden Sandals. Bowden is a brand that people are actively searching for on the Poshmark app, which is the platform that I sell on. And these are so cute with their style and the condition looks great. That back heel is going strong. Bottom soles. They are genuine leather made in India in a size 39. And these are cute. They're kind of nautical with the cream and navy straps. They have the scallop trims, very feminine, but also, you know, kind of a closet staple because they are more muted colors. So I'm very happy about those. I think those will probably go, I would say 30 to 35. Now we have Unstructured by Clarks. And Clarks is not a brand to discount because it's a very reputable shoe brand that people know and love. It's known for comfort and durability and uh, quality, that kind of thing. So, you know, if you have the right shoe, you definitely do want to list it. I just don't know if this guy is a big ticket item. Size so six and a half, and it doesn't mention materials, but that's definitely leather. So, yeah, I mean, they are in decent condition. They have this patent toe cap and then the rest is it's like a very soft smooth 
leather with like kind of a metallic sheen to it. And then the back small heel has the patent detail as well. Okay, I just saw a pair of shoes that I'm really excited about. So I definitely should have opened this box first. I, I hope everyone hasn't clicked out already. Okay, these are Blowfish sneakers. I've seen this brand out and about quite often, but I don't think I've ever actually picked it up for resale. I need to check comps on these. I don't know how this brand sells, but you know, if it's popular enough, I will list these for probably 20 to 25 ish just off the top of my head. Again, I do have to do some research. I'm not seeing any size, which is a bummer if I'm just going to have to approximate all the sizes on these, but oh, you know what? Let me take a a uh, trick out of my own book, size seven. So there we go. And they're in decent condition for being a white sneaker. These are very summery, very beachy. I think they're cute, honestly, I would wear those. Okay, now we have Coconuts by, oh no, I thought this was Coconuts by Matisse, but this definitely says Cole Haan, which is even better. Yeah, Cole Haan Grand OS. So these shoes probably retailed for about 150 if I had to guess, and they are going strong. This stacked heel and back, the sole is in great shape. They're a suede, perforated suede upper peep toe heeled sandal with a, a strap in back at the ankle. So yeah, these are great. This is a solid pair of shoes. I'll probably list these maybe around $50. Okay, these are Sperry Top Cider and they do look dingy. I believe at one point they were, were they white at one point or no? I'm thinking maybe they were because the sole is showing quite a bit of wear, but I don't know, maybe they were cream. Either way, I most likely will not be listing these just because of the wear. Yeah, that's mostly it. They are men's size eight. Is that a men's size eight? Yeah, that's definitely a men's size eight because it's not a women's size eight. So I might put those in my Plato's closet box because they do like taking men's items. They don't seem to get a whole lot of men's pieces dropped off at Plato's closet. So yeah, I might see if they'll take those. These are, it looks like a very low end kind of fast fashion boutique kind of thing. I can't even read that. Um, faux leather, upper, white sole, and then this like espadrille midsole. These are cute. They, I don't think they would last a lifetime, but for right now they are in pretty good condition. So I don't know, I might list these for like 15 to $20 if they don't have any overwhelming flaws that I find. And I think they might be a fast sale again because of the season, I feel like a broken record. Okay, let's see what these are. 9W in style. So these also feel pretty cheap. They are just a canvas heel with like this Dorsey style faux wood heel and back. Oh, Nine West. Oh, that's weird. Nine, oh, am I, how would you read this? Nine win style or nine W, well, no, it would be 9W in style because they're 9 West. Anyways, these shoe brands are coming up with all these offshoots and they're throwing me off. But yeah, I don't think I will be listing those. I don't know. Should I? <laughs> what do you guys think? The materials do feel pretty low quality, but they're a nice olive green color. And I mean, someone might want them for like... 20 bucks, 15, 20 bucks. The lining has a little bit of an issue there. If I, the thing is, the issue is time. So if I can just take five or six quick pictures of those and get them listed without having to do a, do a whole bunch of cleaning or research, that kind of thing, then it's worth it to me to get that small little kickback. 
Okay, so these are, I'm not sure exactly how you pr pronounce this brand. I've seen it quite a bit. S uh, I'll write it on the screen. Sesto Mucci, made in Italy. That's, that's just what we're going to go with. So again, with that peeling issue, it's happening throughout the lining here. It's flaking off onto my hands, which is not great. These are a suede maroon zip back booty, which I most likely would have listed if they were in excellent condition, but they are not. And so I will be donating those. Okay, so this brand is sold at Nordstrom. Luis at C is the brand, size six and a half. They are the Zanara booties, leather upper, leather lining, man-made sole. So they are a zip booty with the little logo gold hardware there. Block heel and back, and the sole does have a little bit taken out, but it's nothing too crazy at all. They are still listable, I would say, especially because this lining is genuine leather, so it's not going to flake, which is great. I mean, maybe after years of wear, but it's not just super fragile kind of thing. So yeah, I will definitely list these. I might wait until closer to fall time, but I wouldn't see myself listing those for less than maybe like $35. Should I just go ahead on the exciting pair? I hope they don't have anything super wrong with them. So they are, what is the actual on, on cloud running? Yeah, on cloud is the brand. I think the actual brand is like on running or maybe it is on cloud, I'm not sure. But either way, this is a very sought after brand. It says US M7, so that would mean men's, right? Yes, so that is a pretty small size, but that's okay. There are size men's seven out there and I'm not really seeing any overwhelming flaws as I look at them. They have been worn, but not enough for the brand to even be rubbed off of the insole so that's great it kind of looks like this might be wear but i don't think it is because i think that's part of the design the top part is like that as well i think that's i think that's just like mesh for uh ventilation kind of thing so yeah, I will look up stock photos just to confirm that that's not actual wear. But I mean, even this toe, you can tell, is going strong. So I am very excited about these. I-N-I-Z, is that what that says? Never heard of this. Leather sole made in Spain. So are these something good? Someone has added a little comfort pad in there, which we don't love. Okay, I-N-E-Z, Inez. So that might be a nice brand that I am unaware of. I will obviously look it up. It does have, so sometimes nicer shoes will put these plastic coatings on the sole and you're supposed to take them off before you wear the shoe, I think. But it looks like this person didn't. Or maybe you do keep it on to protect the leather, but I don't think so. I think you're supposed to take it off. I don't know, I haven't had a pair of shoes fancy enough to have that coating there. But either way, that is a good sign of quality. So I will definitely be looking these up. Inez brand, especially because they are genuine leather and made in Spain. Those are all signs of quality. Oh my gosh. And our last pair of shoes. This box was leaps and bounds better than the first one. Freebird sandals. Okay, that's exciting. What's our condition like? So the insole looks good. There's not a whole lot of like staining or imprints to the sole, or sorry, the insole. The sole also looks pretty good. Even though you do see some discoloration there, that is because it is a genuine leather sole and it, it will get wear very quickly. But again, I will look at this 
sole portion to determine actual wear and really not much has been taken out so that's phenomenal also this logo would be more worn down if they had just been put through the ringer kind of thing so I'm very happy with these golden sandals in a size eight leather upper leather lining leather sole made in Mexico so yeah that's sign of true quality when you have all leather materials throughout you're not gonna have cracking or you know that kind of thing so very happy with those I maybe I'll just showcase my highlights definitely the Freebird sandals I would say these Madewell sneakers really my only great little pickup from the first box the Bowden sandals for sure happy with those the on cloud obviously these new balance sneakers I cannot wait to run comps on the Colhan heeled sandals happy with those for sure what else did we have these Louise at sea booties I am definitely happy with I wouldn't say I'm like jumping for joy on those but okay the Sam Edelman I think I've sold these kind of recently and I want to say they sold really well the Yarrow sandals maybe not but I do know that I sold a pair of Sam Edelman heels for like $48 recently so yeah, if they're high quality materials in good condition, I would not discount Sam Edelman by any means. And I do really like these Esprit platform camo sandals. Um, I'm just going to have to figure out the size, which shouldn't be too big of an issue. They kind of look like my size, honestly. So I will just measure and try them on. So yeah, that's absolutely it for this unboxing video, all 30 pairs. I need to count actually, make sure that I receive the full 30 pairs. But thank you guys so much for watching. Again, I will have my discount code linked down below for ThreadUp. It gets you 45% off your first order as well as free shipping, which is a great deal. So yeah, that really makes these kind of videos possible because I, again, would not pay out of pocket for these shoes unfortunately but you know maybe I will do a follow-up video to see just how much profit I made on the shoes that I do end up listing again thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed if you did enjoy please feel free to leave me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys soon bye y'all